Good morning, everybody. We said we were getting new tires today, which is a good thing because this is the tire we filled yesterday. And I woke up this morning and it was 100% flat. Something is actually wrong with that. I hope it's not the wheel. I hope it's just the tire. And like we showed you this, that's recipe for disaster. Horses? Hello. <laughs> the jealousy is real right now. We're sitting here watching the trail ride about to happen on the Tri Circle D Ranch. I think Lucy needs to get on a horse. <laughs> Lucy, you want to go ride a horse? I think she's a little she jealous too. Nay. But, horse? Nay. Yeah, you want to go check him out? <laughs> I think the horses are jealous about what we're about to eat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, we ran into our friend Callie. She's actually going to Trails End 2 for her friend's birthday. We, we haven't seen her in so long. It was so Literally. nice to see her. Yeah, we need to see her in a park. She has a, um, a YouTube channel too. We'll link it. People that we're with, they don't understand what I'm about to come back to the table with. You Josh, not disappoint. I'm not going to disappoint. My expectations are so high. <laughs> Justice here. I literally, Sarah wasn't here, but I accidentally hey. destroyed the table. Like I, I like slammed it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Lucy. I looked over one second. She took it. Here we go. Here we go. Here's round one. Round one. Sarah's looking good. Josh is almost done with his tasting round. Yeah. So far, he eggs. says the winner is the pulled pork eggs benedict. Yeah, favorite thing so far. It also had a little banana foster sauce runoff onto it. Ooh, a little like cross contamination. Nothing wrong with that. I love that. Here is round two. I'm still I waiting so on mac and cheese. I have pots. I have the hash browns and mashed potatoes. Proud of you. And a biscuit. I'm so proud of you. Oh, yeah. Here is uh, here's my round three. I've kind of consumed. Well, it's like three and a half because Brie got me the little half plate of the egg crunchy Benedict. But I'm kind of hurting. Josh, you really yeah, did. Just like go in on the watermelon. You went in on that all watermelon. About it. It's expensive to buy the store, so <laughs> right. You want to get a bag? Yeah. Spill it up. Back in the bacon. <laughs> For lady. All right, we have left. Uh, trails end. We have come over here to the swing just to try to burn some of this energy. We're kind of hurting. I'm hurting. Oh. Joy bus full. I did good though. I didn't like go too yeah. far. I always go I too far. I just went over the edge. I thought I was going to get sick. Josh probably went well because all the, the watermelon he ate yeah. has kept his stomach expanded but not full. Yeah, I'm like, I could feel if I kept going I'd be sick but I'd, right. it's close. <laughs> the reason we actually went to brunch was because it's this little girl's birthday this Not week. Today. Not today. And her actual birthday. We're doing something exciting. <laughs> today was just for fun for everyone to come and have brunch. Now we're going to go see the horses. gorgeous daydream and I think it's a gorgeous daydream to triple sow cow triple toe loop out of this podcast and <laughs> you should triple sow triple toe yourself right on over to Mueller she wrote and get it together and be very well versed on this very exciting time in American politics but also terrifying so on that note thanks for listening to getting curious our timing was perfect yes. we have arrived to the world of the sea. Sea world, also called Sea World. AKA Sea World. So we had a little live stream. We got ourselves together. We have been listening to a lot of Getting Curious with Jen Jonathan Van Ness. Um, he is in Queer Eye. He is like my favorite person. 
and we have been in the car. Is that not encountering you? My favorite, like, is he a celebrity? Yeah. Favorite celebrity person. Um, I'm nervous about. So I we we're still full. We're still very much full. So we're not actually going to indulge because right now SeaWorld is doing their like food and wine. It's like the Seven Seas Festival or something like that. Um, that's why they're having the concerts on the weekends for the next couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. But we're not gonna we're gonna come back and get food. I'm super nervous about the concert because they were like selling three different tiers of seats. But I know you didn't have to have the seats for like the reserved seating. I also don't know where. We're just gonna go. We're just gonna go fall. see. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. free. It's free. It's unplanned. So it's included in our season pass. Um, we're just gonna wing it and hope to get a good, enjoyable yeah. spot. We're gonna link the podcast that we've been listening to Down below. below. Um, at the end, he said, "Tell people how to listen to it, how to subscribe." Give it. Let's go. Okay, so this is where you buy your lanyards and your reserved concert seating. It's the Seven Seas Food Festival. So we just saw the pricing. And the sampler lanyard is... 65 for 15, but if you're an annual pass holder, you get 20. 20. So that's not bad for 65, it's like $3 a pop for a sample, but it's gonna if be... If you're an annual pass holder. If you're an annual pass holder. It's gonna be trouble, I feel, because I've been looking forward to this Ooh, festival there's, since we first saw it. Yeah. What is that? There's more, like, that's open over there. We just saw, like, a couple of the markets open on this walk. But, but the, that's, yeah, usually. the big difference, and this is why I'm gonna love it, and it's gonna be also trouble, is they've got big size portions for like six dollars, or you can get your sampler portion. So I it's see like a sign for the fray. Oh, more to be announced. Concert starts at six. It's nice is that you, with a sampler you can get the small piece, but instead of going back for like for food and wine or festival of the arts or any of the Epcot festivals, like you'd have to go back and get those same samplers. But this time, like if you really like something you could get a big portion for more money, and I'm I'm all gay about that. Okay, we believe we were in legal seating. As we saw a person over there with the reserved seating on the other side. But we seem to be good over here. I mean, there's lots of open areas that we have to move. But we're, what, like six row back? The stage is right here, really good for a concert. The piano's right there, we're big Frey fans. And the I saw- The last time we saw the Frey, Jack's mannequin opened for the Frey. Like, it, that tweeter, right? Yeah, in Simley Park in Chicago, like a big amphitheater in there. And we were what? Were we lawns? We were lawns. So we were like way back there. Yeah. Still a great show. Yeah. I saw something that we haven't seen yet. What? They have a festival little booklet. Ooh. Like Epcot does. We'll have to pick one up on the way out so we can plan our food trip. Yeah. We're going to be back. We're going to be back probably, I would love to come back two more times. The whole part is this is competing with Festival of the Arts. But Festival of the Arts we can go with during the day. This is easier on the weekends, harder during the week. We could do it all. <laughs> we like too much stuff. It's okay. It's a good thing. Tell me, tell me a lie, I know. Where you love?
seven. Eight. From when? Last time we saw him. We were dating then? No, we weren't. We were dating something. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. Um, I think it was that first summer we were dating. Wow. What's up, girlfriend? Like 10 years ago. <laughs> All right. We're calling it quits. Literally just came in to see World 4. Uh, the concert. And to check out. Oh, we never got a pamphlet. Shoot. There's always next time. Yeah. Guys. We just checked our appeal box. And we got the sweetest, literally, sweetest, Valentine's sweetest. Day box from the Corderones um, and their family. And they gave us a lot of different chocolates. From like and, furlongs? Um, Super and delicious. And conversation hearts and all these coffee other delicious Coffee and the kind sweets. of coffee they sent me, I'll show you later, but I've had it before and it's like mm. the best. Yeah. Um, so but thank don't, you. Don't, thank you so much, but thank tell you. The about cool the, part, the, the, our favorite part about it. Yeah. Um, so the last part of the note I'll read, thank you for giving our family a shared interest. Your vlogs keep us connected in many different ways. And then they listed their names and where they lived. So they don't live close by to one another, but our vlogs help them stay connected. Three different Massachusetts cities mm -hmm. and one Ohio city. It's really cool. So it's like the sweetest thing ever. <laughs> thank, thank you so you. much. We're already indulging in the sweets as you can see. And uh, maybe we'll show you the rest of the box later if I don't eat it all. Bye. Four hours later. No, actually, how many hours later? Two. Two. One, we found and stole a Katie. We haven't shown Katie yet. <laughs> and she doesn't realize, she doesn't realize that because we've just been like talking because we all talked 17 miles in a second. We're trying to brainwash her into accepting the fact that this is where we're trying to live. No. We brought her over to Lazy Room. I know. The idea was like, we're like, Katie's like, I just want to get out of the house. We're like, yeah, let's just go drive. Like, we, that's something like, you do in high school in like You're Chicago. Not moving, I wanna and so Katie like I have like I 20 mom, minutes. We don't have after 20 minutes, like, where are we going? I was like, uh Winter Park. And she's like, oh. <laughs> Brainwash. But it's National Pizza Day. We didn't even realize it. Uh, our pizzas this came. Smells so There's what the this is my hand. Here's the piece. Okay. Katie's it's bigger than Katie's face. Katie got uh cheese on cheese. Plain Jane. I got pesto. Italian sauce. That looks really good. And I got yeah. jalapenos and fresh mozzarella. Mozzarella. Fresh mozzarella. And fresh mozzarella. Lazy Moon is in like Lake, I think it's considered Lake Eola Heights. Lake Eola is the lake that's in downtown Orlando. Sarah and I want to move to Winter Park, which is like just like it's like downtown Orlando. A little bit northeast of it, just north of the lake is Lake Eola Heights, and then just north of that is Winter Park. So we want to live like essentially like two miles from downtown Orlando. I don't know where the girls are. Do you know where we are by these animals? We're at, back at good old Lake Eola. I've never been here. You've never been here? Mm -mm. You were just downtown like last week. You were like- But I was in downtown on Church Street. I wasn't in Lake Eola. You guys, they live a crazy life. Literally. Church Street's right downtown. there. Oh, it is. Yeah, downtown like the, downtown Orlando's like the size of my pinky. I don't leave Walt Disney World. <laughs> um, we had, we had just like a Twilight Zone moment just now. What are your first impressions? This is really weird because we've never really like hung out or walked around in another city's downtown, especially when it's super different. So we're just talking to Katie about like. There's always fun stuff, well, not always, but like a lot of fun <laughs> stuff going on in downtown Orlando. There's always. And we, we passed like a billboard and I was looking at it to see if there was like. Pause in the park. I was like, oh, pause in the park, Katie, your dogs can come. And I was like, wait, that was today. And I was like, wait, we just missed pause in the park last year. But that's weird that it was a year ago. Exactly. So, because wait, was it, was it like it was a, a, it was a year It was a shift. Something? No, it shifted all by day. So like today's Saturday. So we were literally a year ago today exploring downtown Orlando. That is for the first it's time. It's weird. Whoa. That's so weird. And it's my first time, so I guess it's oh my God. in the Twilight Zone. <laughs> you know what this means. We're back home. February 9th's daily message is, anger is an acid that can do more harm to the vessel in which it is stored than to, than to anything on which it is poured. Mark Twain. He was stressing. She knows that she's getting a haircut tomorrow. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, really great day. Really busy day. Mm -hmm. Uh, we told you for the past couple of days that like this weekend was kind of packed, and uh, we're tired. We're tired. It's almost one. Mm -hmm. 
but we had a great day with all of our friends and each other mm -hmm. and Eve. Yeah. It's just, it's just, it's, uh, it's good to be home. <laughs> it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.